Hey all, it's Aaron again, and I'm going to just give you a little demonstration on how to connect to the command line on a Cisco router. Uh, we're going to be using Packet Tracer, but it'll uh, work exactly the same with a real router uh, or Cisco device. So I'm going to start by just dragging a, a Cisco 2620 out here to my uh, pallet. And what we're going to do is get a computer going here. So let's grab a PC as well. So we've got to have a computer. Uh, we we uh, program a router via the console port, which is a serial connection. It's what we call out-of-band management. We're not using the network to manage the device. Uh, by default, all the interfaces on this router will be shut down, so there is no way to, to uh, manage that device via the network anyway. Uh, so we're going to use out-of-band management. To do that, we're going to need something called a rollover cable or a console cable. So I'm going to click here on the console cable. I'm going to connect on the PC to the RS-232 port. Not the fast Ethernet port, but the serial port on the PC. And then I'm going to connect to the console port. Again, not the fast Ethernet port, but the console port on the router. Once I've done that, all I have to do is fire up my terminal emulation software on my PC, and I'm up and running. The terminal emulation software that comes with Microsoft Windows is called HyperTerm. You do have several other options. Your options are PuTTY. Uh, a recent version of PuTTY will have serial connections available. Uh, you can use TerraTerm. Uh, there's any number of them out there. If you want to pay for a, a, a nice package, you can get secure CRT. There's, there's a number of them. So, uh, But we're just going to use what's built into Windows. Uh, here in Packet Tracer, we'll click here on the PC. We'll go to Desktop, and we'll click on the Terminal program. Uh, now, the settings that you'll need to do, whether you use a PC or, uh, excuse me, whether you use HyperTerm or you use PuTTY or you use TerraTerm or you use Secure CRT, they're going to be these settings right here. These are the serial port settings for the PC. They're going to be at 9,600 bits per second, 8 data bits, no parity, no stop, uh, excuse me, one stop bit, and no flow control. So that's 9600, 8, none, and 1. 9600, 8, none, and 1. It's got kind of a rhythm to it, so it's kind of easy to remember that way. 9600, 8, none, and 1 with no flow control. I'll hit OK, and if all is good, I should see that I am inter interacting with this router here. So you can see here that uh, I am interacting, uh, if I can get my window to move here, I am interacting with this, this router. So when I hit the Enter key, uh, when I press a key on my keyboard, that, that key press is sent to the serial port, which in turn is sent to the router via the console or rollover cable. The router responds through its console port, which goes across that rollover or console cable into my serial port, and the terminal emulation software displays that characters from the router on my screen as well. So my initial dialog here, I'll set no. Uh, I don't want to do the setup wizard. That's basically what that is. Uh, at which point, if you press the enter key a few times on a router, you should have a prompt here. Notice that it's a little caret prompt, not a pound symbol. That means you're an unprivileged user. You have a, you have a, uh, a small subset of what you can do. Uh, so again, you can just see we've got the little caret. We, we can't do any permanent changes on this device. Uh, again, if I hit the help system, you'll see I just have a very limited number of commands that I can actually do here. Uh, this has got a blank configuration. That's why it came up with the setup wizard. Uh, so I can go ahead and enable it and get into an enabled mode. Uh, there should be no password required. If there is, some of the more modern Cisco routers ship with a password, and that password is Cisco, C-I-S-C-O, with a capital C. Cisco with a capital C. But it should be no password. It should drop you straight to enabled mode. And again, you can see our prompt has changed from a little caret to a pound symbol, meaning you are now the super user. You can do anything you want on this box now. You can really hose it up good, <laughs> or hopefully uh, set it up uh, in, in working order. If I hit the question mark key, you can see I have a whole bunch more commands, don't I, that I didn't have uh, in the other one. Okay, stay tuned. In the next video, we're going to set up some basic configuration of the router, what we call best practices, and we'll do that uh, in the next video. See you then.